Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. Hey, bub. I'm talking to you. Excuse me? Oh, damn. You're a woman. That's right, buddy. And you see these fingers right here? I'm gonna stick them so far up your ass, you're gonna be throwing up adamantium. Ooh. That sounds kinky, me likeies. What's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber guys and here we are. We are back by popular demand. Uh, we are about to do a Marvel Legends review of Lady Deathstrike. Oh my goodness man, this has been a long time in the making. Long freaking time in the making. Um, here are uh, some of the figs that you can get from this wave. You know, I actually do like all of them. i seen the entire wave at Walmart. I only picked up Lady Death Death Strike because that's the only fig that I was really interested in in this in this collection. Even though I do like all of them, I'm not trying to build all of them because I don't really want to build this guy because he's pretty much um, he's pretty much the same as uh, what's his name? Uh, not Abomination, but the other guy. I forget what the other guy was called. Um, but the same body mold, anyways. Very similar body mold, with the exception of this right here on his stomach and his head as well so and probably the feet and probably the legs who knows i don't i don't really care <laughs> i'm not gonna build the guy anyways but yeah here are some of the other figs you can get i do like the arcade marvel's arcade i didn't pick them up though but i do actually like this wave all right let's get to the reviewing guys let's go ahead and pop this figure out let me remove that Let's see, does she have, oh yeah, she does have tape. Of course, of course, she is taped. Let's slice her open and let's get to the reviewing. Oh, yes. There's the beautiful box art. Love the Lady Deathstrike. I almost said Lady Gaga. But uh, yeah, here's a little read-up on uh, Lady Deathstrike if you are curious. This one I remember from way back in the day, guys. Um, here's this piece right here. I'm pretty sure he'll be compatible with your uh, the Abominable Snowman. I forget his freaking name, bro. His name eludes me at the moment. But yeah, here's the build the figure piece. Decent. All right, let's take a look at Lady Deathstrike. And like I was gonna say before, I was in it before I interrupted myself. Um, I, I do believe I used to have this Toy Biz figure back in the day. Yeah, she's definitely much smaller in person. Like, she was big in package. You take her out, out of package, she's actually very, very, very small, man. But overall, just a very nice looking figure, man. Let me bring my camera down just a little bit. Bring it up. Bring it down, because she is a small, itty bitty little chick. Nice face sculpt. Um, that the face sculpt kind of reminds me of Electra. If I'm if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. But she does have like an Electra face. I don't have I don't have a, any Electra figure to do a comparison with. But yeah, the face does look very very similar. But other than that, she looks very nicely done, bro. Love the mechanical parts right here. The animantium underneath or on top of her skin. You can see it in her arms and then her hands right there. Love her hands. I love that they gave us rubberized fingers. I mean, you know, so... Yeah, man. The rubberized fingers was a great, great idea. 
because essentially she's not holding anything because these are her weapons. It would it would have been nice if she does if she did came with some uh with some accessories, but um I mean, not too bad. She is very plastic rubbery, man. This right here, plastic rubbery, plastic rubbery right here. This is like a plastic rubbery. She does very seems very flexible. What is up with my words today, man? Jeez. Cannot speak. That's what happens when you get older. Your, your brain starts to, to de deteriorate. Look, I can't even speak. I can't even say deteriorate. Because <laughs> my brain is already deteriorating. Uh, nice figure. Overall, great looking figure. Give you guys a better close up. Very nicely done, man. Very nicely done. So, do you guys even care about the articulation? Um, yeah, as you can see, see how bendable she is? Like, you try to bend the arm, and her arm is already popping out, bro. See, look, her arm can easily pop out if, if it wanted to. So, see what I mean? It's very, very cheap. Cheaply made, bro. As with a lot of Marvel Legends. You see, when I bend it, this knee, pen, knee peg wants to pop out. Let's see, same thing with this one. See, it's just... Very, very fragile, man. So I'd be careful with that, guys, when posing her. But yeah, that's the articulation. She does have great wrist articulation right there. Arm movement, arm up and down. Waist, nothing at the torso because she doesn't really have much of a torso. She should have double-jointed legs, as all Marvel Legends, most Marvel Legends do. Very flexible. I wish she was a little bit bigger, man, because she is a very, very petite chick. Overall, very, very nice. Let's do a measurement. We'll break out some comparisons and we'll do some review uh, uh, comparisons. We'll break out some figs and we'll do some comparisons. That's, that's what I meant to say. See, that's what happens when you start smoking a lot of crack. Don't do drugs, kids. Uh, Lady Death Strikes. Uh, she stands under six inches tall. Uh, let's break. Uh, let's do some comparisons with uh, Batman Beyond figure since I got him here. Why not, right? Let's take out this Batman Beyond. There we go with the flame effects on his feet. Why not? So that's how he measures up a Batman Beyond. Jeez, man. Oh, flame, of flat, flame effects. Look, I can't even speak. What is up with me today, man? Jeez. But there she is with Batman Beyond. So there, that gives you an idea of how small she is if you have this Batman Beyond figure. And this guy does stand a little bit over seven inches tall. You want to see, yeah, go ahead and fall down. I don't care. Uh, you want to see her in a flight stand? Why not? Jumping, leaping. Like this. Like that. Coming at you. She doesn't look threatening because she looks really, really pretty. But then again, those are the kind of women you need to look out for. The really pretty women are the most dangerous. All right, let's break out some uh, more Marvel Legend figs and do some comparisons. Okay, so to break out another uh, chick with animantium powers, I broke out X-23. You can see X-23 is a really, really small chick, man, but that's how they measure up. Who wins? Lady Deathstrike or X-23? Ooh, that's a tough one. Lady Deathstrike with Wolverine. She is a little bit taller than Wolverine. Of course, Wolverine is under the six-inch mark because he's a small guy. When they're, whenever, when, who knows when they're going to get the uh, size, uh, size right, seismic, seismic, measurements, whatever. Measurements to Wolverine right, accurate. Uh, whoever they decide to uh, cast as the next Wolverine, he should be short and stocky. You know what I mean? Instead of lengthy and tall. Anyways, let's get back to the character. Nonetheless, you came here to see Lady Deathstrike. Listen, overall, great looking figure. They did an amazing job. I mean, listen, this is not a figure. I mean, listen, if you... You, you probably won't appreciate this unless you're a Marvel Legends fan or if you collected Toy Biz figs, man. Um, I do like these breaks right here. This is something that DC uh, McFarlane needs to do right here. He doesn't do these freaking leg breaks right here, uh, which really sucks because I really like these leg breaks right there. 
the leg cuts, whatever the hell you want to call them. But uh, yeah, good figure. Um, like I said, if you if you're not a fan of the '90s toy biz, you know days, then you probably won't like this figure at all. But yeah, she is really really nice, man. I do recommend it if you guys are Marvel Legends collectors. If you are, then you probably already have this damn fig. But yeah, she is really nicely done, man. Great looking figure, great head sculpt. Only gripe is this is really fragile right here, so be very uh careful and it's a really a good homage to the toy biz days i like what you know uh hasbro was doing you know especially with modok and now lady death strike well actually what they have been doing for years paying homage to uh you know to toy biz but yeah it's a really really good figure really solid figure i definitely recommend it guys if you like i said if you're not marvel legends fans and there's nothing to scream about if you guys are not x-men fans it's probably nothing to scream about you know, so, but just an overall good, awesome figure. Another Marvel, $20 Marvel Legend to add to your collection. Uh, another villain for Wolverine um, to battle. All right, guys, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Oh, yeah, let me give you my rating. I'll give her a 7, guys. A 7 out of 10. I think she's really nicely done. Um, I definitely would love to see some more going on on her legs, but this is accurate to the Toy Biz days. I just wish Marvel Legends Hasbro would improve on that a little bit more. But nonetheless, you get what you paid for, man. This and uh, this big-ass torso right here that's almost as big as her. All right, guys, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts about Lady Deathstrike. Did I say Lady Death? Lady Deathstrike. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you guys in the next review. Peace out. Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is brought to you by Only Pans on YouTube. Check it out.